All new at five, a Florida firefighter says the state's cancer benefits law saved his life. The 31-year-old paramedic was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer, but there are many cancers not covered under the current law. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld is working to change that. He's in the newsroom now with more, Mike. Thanks, Lisa. Good evening. You're about to meet a 31-year-old firefighter who refuses, refuses to give in to cancer. What he has is so rare, there are only about a dozen cases diagnosed each year. He credits a state law for giving him hope and financial help. My lymph nodes lit up on the PET scan as well as some in the sinus passage. Clay Geiger is going public with his personal battle against cancer. And you almost go into survival mode where you're just trying to continue to get through to the next day. The 31-year-old devoted the last seven years of his life as a paramedic firefighter for the city of Lakeland. But something happened this year, a diagnosis that would change everything. They confirmed the diagnosis of NK T-cell lymphoma. NK T-cell lymphoma, a rare nasal form of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So they actually radiated my uh, neck and face. For the last six months, Geiger endured chemo and radiation at Moffitt Hospital. Eating was very, very difficult, so I lost you know, 20, 25 pounds right off the rip in the first six weeks. Physical stress aside, he tells News 6 he wouldn't be talking to us today if it weren't for Florida Senate Bill 426. I didn't have to worry about the bills and mortgage and everything like that. I was able to just focus on treatment and getting through it. As we first reported, this legislation was signed into law by Governor DeSantis in 2019. How helpful was it to you to have that financial lifeline? It was incredible. It provides $25,000 for medical expenses along with out-of-pocket expenses to full-time firefighters diagnosed with any of 21 forms of cancer, including non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. That burden that everyone else is carrying, I didn't have to carry it. And it is directly because of that bill. But for firefighters like Orange County's Travis Brown, rare cancers can be a financial liability. I kind of felt betrayed by this whole bill. I felt like it, it just didn't help me at all. Brown was diagnosed with bile duct cancer last year. It's not covered under the current law. Every cancer should, should count. I did 27 years of service to the citizens of this county, and, you know, I feel like I'm all alone here at the end. We don't want him to be all alone. There are more than 100 forms of cancer, including bile duct cancer and liver cancer. Brown has been diagnosed with both, and the county can't cover them because it's not under the law. We're working to change the law to expand the cancer list so no Florida firefighter is ever left behind. Lisa? But Mike, do you have any new information since you began looking into this? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. I I've been on the phone with Tallahassee most of the afternoon. I think we're getting close. Apparently, some cancer research from the University of Miami brought it down to this 21. We think we can expand it. Uh, I'm in touch with state lawmakers who are going to support us on this. We will change the law. I don't want those firefighters being diagnosed with a cancer and not getting the help they deserve mm. because it's not on some list. We're going to change it. All right, Mike Holfeld, thank you. I hate seeing people left out mm -hmm. in that. All right, well, time.